today I'm gonna be telling you about an Eastern European man who moved to America and became a hitman. Like this dude is someone you don't want to fuck with. That being said, this is the story of Nico Belli. During the war, we did some bad things, and bad things happened to us. Nico was born in Yugoslavia in 1978, and it is implied that his dad was an abusive alcoholic. And as for his mother, she was upset that her son had to grow up in such a harsh environment, not having electricity in the home until he was 12 years old. I mean, you could just say that things were hard for the Bellic family. Nico would also have a brother. But he would unfortunately lose his life in battle during the Yugoslav Wars, in which Nico himself attended as a teenager serving as a helicopter pilot. During this war, Nico would partake in witness bloodshed. This caused him to have a cynical perspective on life, dealing with depression, a certain degree of regret, and emotional detachment. Yeah! Eventually, Nico's unit of 15 men would be ambushed by enemy Shit. forces. Darko Brevik, Florian Kravit, and Nico himself made it out alive. This left Nico very confused and upset. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village. But one of us betrayed the group. This would leave Nico pissed off. He would vow to kill those responsible for the ambush. But not only for revenge, but to close the book on the whole incident and move on with his life. After the war, shit wasn't easy for Nico Belli. He had trouble finding steady work, while his cousin Roman moved to Liberty City in America. As for Nico Belli, he spent the next decade in the criminal underworld of Europe, which led to him doing some time in the European penitentiary. You'd think after he got out, he would just turn over a new leaf, right? Well, no. He began working on a human trafficking ring led by Ray Bogorin. But during his operations, a boat would sink, leaving him lost at sea during a smuggling run into Italy. Nico would swim to safety, but everyone and everything was lost. This pissed Bulgarin off, thinking that Nico sabotaged a mission to get away with his money. Bulgarin's reach in Europe was untouchable, and Nico knew this, so he would do what he thought was best and join the merchant navy just so he could escape. Nico would spend the next 7 months on a cargo ship, which would eventually arrive smuggling him into Liberty City. And let's just say that Nico wanted a part of the American dream, baby. Except he had nothing and he was flat broke. All he had was his cousin Roman Belly in a mission to chase down Florian Kravitz, who moved to Liberty City after the war. Now his cousin Roman Belly, he was boasting about his success in Liberty City. Bro really tried to make it seem like he was that guy. So the bitch I'm him quit playing. Uh, but in reality, his assets amounted to nothing but a small gritty taxi depot in a ran down apartment. And don't even get me started on the unsettled debt due to his gambling problem. <laughs> like any money money that came in definitely didn't stay. Where's sports car? Where's Barbara with big titties and Stephanie who sucks like a vacuum? What are you talking about? In your letters to my mother, in your letters to me, all I hear about is Mr. Big, Mr. Roman, living the American dream. Sports cars, condos, women, money, the beach, opportunity. I come here and the only thing big about your life is the cockroaches. Well, after all the lies, Nico decided to stay in Liberty City and assist Roman with his taxi business. Plus, he would have to protect his cousin from the loan sharks who came after him. Roman's connections eventually led him to becoming friends with Little Jacob. Little Jacob is an underboss for the Yardy, a Jamaican street gang in Liberty City that been holding shit down since the 80s. But Nico would also take work from the Russian Mafia. And best believe, this set off the rest of the motion for his stay in Liberty City. Boom! After killing Vladimir Gabov, Nico would be spared by Mikhail Faustin. But Dmitri wanted Roman, and Nico Bellic did. While after killing Mikhail, Dmitri reveals his connections to Ray Bulgarin, turning against him and attempting to take his life. Nico and Roman flee Hove Beach. But unfortunately, his apartment and taxi depot was burnt to the ground. It is at this point that Nico becomes a hitman and associate of many, 
such as Manny and Elizabetta Therese. Nico formed this relationship through Roman's girlfriend, Mallory. Throughout his journey in the criminal underworld of Liberty City, he would develop many affiliations with several gangs, like the McGreary crime family, Playboy X, Dwayne Forge, and the Pegorino crime family. In an attempt to lure Nico in, Dimitri would kidnap Roman Belli, which wouldn't go as planned because Nico did what Nico did, exiting out anyone that opposed him and rescuing his cousin Roman. After this event, Nico becomes in contact with the International Affairs Agency, but this will be through their front, the United Liberty Papers. This agency will blackmail them into doing some work in which they consider country protecting work. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle, or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. In here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy, if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Belik, quite a fire, quite a story. Who are you? The FIB? The FIB? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Nico's relationship to Ray Bettino would eventually lead him to Florian Kravick, which Florian Kravick at the time did a name change, changing his name to Bernie Crane. He would not only beg for forgiveness, but explain that he is a homosexual and that he is not the traitor within the group. And what do you think Nico did? Boop. Just kidding. He forgave Bernie and even helped him with his life. As a sign of gratitude from the ULP, they will locate Darko Bravik in Romania smuggling him into Liberty City. Nico confronts Brevik, in which he admits that he sold the group out for $1,000 to fund his heroin addiction. Enraged that his group was sold out for just $1,000, Nico will hold him at gunpoint, and whether he kills him is unknown. I guess I'll let you decide on that. You kill my friends for $1,000. How much do you charge to kill someone? Well, after this whole situation, he will meet up with Jimmy Pegarino, and Jimmy will ask him to do a heroin deal with Dmitry Raskolov. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you. I looked out for you, and I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Well, Nico was reluctant to do so, due to the bitterness between the two. Best believe that Nico got his revenge. He will fight his way onto the cargo ship, in which he would see Raskolov loading up heroin, and he would confront him about his earlier betrayal. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Bless you, opponent. I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. Boom. He gets executed by Nico, and this accident caused the downfall of the Pegorino crime family. The Pegorino crime family couldn't let this slide. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yes! Yes, I did it! Yes! You fucking double cross an immigrant shit! But instead, they hit Kate McGreary. Rest in peace. This couldn't go unanswered, so Nico Bellic alongside of little Jacob chased him throughout the city before confronting him and killing him on Happiness Island. 
But where exactly is Nico Bellic now? Well, through a Weasel News report, it is said that he is wanted for questioning for the events that happened at his cousin's wedding. And though he wasn't wanted as a suspect, he would flee the state, heading over to the West Coast due to his immigrant status. You see, Nico's immigrant status is unclear and arouses the suspicion of the LCPD, though he does claim to have his papers. But Roman claims that he doesn't have a visa, so who really knows? This will be further evidence in a Liberty City Tree article over the death of a ship captain in which they would state that none of the crew had visas. But it is hinted that Nico Bellic went on to live a normal life, giving up the life of crime and just being retired from the criminal underworld. Though a poster of Nico will be spotted on the porch of a house west of Sandy Shores. So when he settled over in the west coast, it is possible that he didn't give up the life completely until a couple years later. Especially if he was known for being a notorious hitman in 2013. But due to his life invader page gaining popularity, we can trace him back to Broker in which he will be working under his cousin's cab company once again, keeping in contact with little Jacob, Mallory, and Brucey, who all recently liked his status posted on his page. So he went to the west coast, had a few kids, came back to the east coast, and settled. There you have it. Now I can finally alert the FIB and let them know where Nico is. But that being said, me and my boy Crypto are releasing a GTA movie based in Los Santos San Andreas, featuring the families the Balas, the Vagos, and Aztecas. So if you want to be a part of the movement, join the Discord in the pinned comment. But that being said, this is your boy, LS Central. Checking out. Smoke shop sweet as a G. Carl is a hustler, smoke is a bitch. Rider is a buster. Kendall was a homie, but she fucked with a sucker. Posting on the set, looking out for the busters. Getting high all day, trying to crash out.